Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad, and welcome back to another beautiful day on the Gubernation Gun Range. Today, I want to tell you a little story. I was at my local sporting goods store, just kind of browsing around, checking out the gun counter, and I had my hands on a, um, a 9mm, which probably looked pretty similar to this here Glock 19. Just, you know, checking it out, see what was going on, what the price was, having a chat with the uh, guy behind the uh, bar there. And uh, another older fella kind of settled up next to me, and um, this is what he said. Hey there. Notice you got a nice little 9mm taking a look at that, eh? Well, uh, just so you know, a couple of my cop buddies, yeah, I'm friends with cops. Well, they say they don't uh, use 9mm anymore. You know why? You know why that is? Well, that they're uh, around there, that thing bounces right off of windshields like that one right there. It bounces right off them. Can't even get through them. So uh, I would recommend you look at something a little bit more peppier, eh? Alrighty then, you have a nice day there, bud. Well, that was quite the uh, news flash for me. I've never been in a position to shoot a windshield, so I don't know for sure what would have happened, but I had always thought 9mm was plenty strong enough to go through one. And I guess there's only really one way to find out for sure, and that is to go ahead and take a shot at a windshield with a 9mm. Huh. Well, looks like maybe that uh, old fella was a little bit wrong there. That looks like it poked all the way through. So, as you can see from our massacred pop bottle here, the windshield didn't do much to slow down that bullet or even stop or deflect it. And if you noticed, I actually took some time and did a very uh, scientific setup of our windshield over there, making sure all the angles are correct and uh, accurate as possible to what a, a typical car windshield would look like. So with all that put together, we can say, I think pretty much without a doubt that nine millimeters definitely do not skip off of windshields. But it got me thinking, it got me thinking. Now, not every bullet is as strong as a nine millimeter. Are there any bullets that would skip off a windshield? Let's do some more science. So we're gonna step it down a bit. This is the Taurus TX-22 Compact, and it fires a 22 long rifle round. And the one I've got right here in this magazine is called an Aguila Interceptor. It is about the zestiest 22 round on the market. There's a couple other that are smidge more powerful than it, but really it's pretty much uh, top of the heap as far as 22 long rifle goes. And for those of you who don't know, 22 long rifle is a good step down in power from nine millimeter. So can the windshield deflect the most powerful 22 long rifle round? Let's see, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I think that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty resounding nope. All right, so as you can see here, we did not have such traumatic damage as the 9mm with our 22 long rifle. Just a little tiny hole right there in, and it did go all the way through. Where the heck is the up? There it goes, there's the exit. Right there. Just little, little tiny holes, but definitely enough damage to go all the way through that pop bottle. So we can say that the hypervelocity, the big dog of the 22 long rifle world, will zip right through a windshield and zip right through a pop bottle. I've got more rounds though, so let's try another one. Okay, next up on our sticky quest here to see if a windshield can deflect any kind of bullet, I've got the Remington Golden Bullet with that focus there. And this would be classified as a, well, I think a high velocity round. So a good step down from that Aguila Interceptor. Still pretty powerful as far as the 22 goes, but uh, now we're really, we're really falling down in the power levels. So we're, we're way lower than a nine millimeter here. So will this guy go all the way through? Let's see here. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> man, these things are squirting everywhere. God, love to see it. Uh, but unfortunately, again, full penetration it looks like. Yeah. 
So we're, we're getting closer to maybe getting a deflection. Here is the pop bottle we hit with the golden bullet, and there is where we hit going in, and there is nothing coming out the back side. And in fact, let me see if I can pull this up for you. There it goes. There is the bullet that I found inside our pop bottle. So we've went through our windshield into the pop bottle, but not exiting the pop bottle. So we're getting kind of close to maybe, maybe seeing a deflection. And luckily I've got a couple more rounds that are actually even weaker than that round. Let's try the next one. Our next round down the ladder of power is gonna be the CCI standard velocity. So this guy is a subsonic round going even slower than our golden bullet. And this is gonna be our best opportunity here for this windshield. Will it deflect our slow boy 22 long rifle round here we go. Oof! No! 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 <laughs> These pop bottles are shooting back at me. Holy smokes! <laughs> but uh, again, the answer is nope. No deflection. Went right through. Let's check out the damage. So again, we have an entrance here, right there on that lovely pop bottle and uh, no exit. Just uh, went in, didn't come out. Definitely went through the windshield. Definitely did traumatic damage to our little pop bottle and we recovered. Again, a little folded up bullet there inside that pop bottle. So, so far, even the weakest the weakest of the 22 long rifle rounds can get through that windshield. There is nothing that is bouncing off this windshield. I'm beginning to think that that guy at the uh, counter there might have been selling me a fake bill of uh, goods there because uh, um, windshields are they're, they're not bulletproof at all. But I do have one more round. It is not technically a 22 long rifle. It is a 22 short. So. This is by far magnitudes weaker than the nine millimeter or even the 22 long rifle. This thing is about the slowest, weakest thing on the block, just a step up from a BB gun. Will that, will that be deflected? Will that be the one that finally gets deflected by this windshield? And for you guys who aren't uh, familiar with these rounds, let me give you the illustration there. So this stout little fella on the side is a nine millimeter. And this cute little guy next to him is our 22 long rifle, but even tiny, look at that, it's ridiculous how tiny this thing is. That is our 22 short. Whew, let me load it up. I mean, this is pretty much the only chance we got left here. Let's see if this thing will bounce off that windshield. And here, here is that little 22 short loaded in the magazine. I'm not even sure. I'm gonna try and rack this and see if it even... Okay, load it up. I have never shot a 22 short out of a uh, 22 pistol before only rifles. Um, hopefully this works and maybe, maybe even will deflect. So final shot, final chance for our windshield. Let me get down nice and low here and let's see if we can do it. Wow, okay, okay. I, I see a hole in the windshield, but I don't see any damage to the pop bottle. I'm going to do some investigation here. So it appears that the uh, 22 short did not, in fact, go through the windshield. It deflected off it. Let me show you a close up here. We can kind of take a look at all of our rounds here. So we'll start. There's a nine. Nice clean hole all the way through. There's that hot 22. Went through. We we're seeing a little bit more damage on each one. There's our standard velocity. You see how much it dug out there? And then finally, there is the short, and it looks like a hole there, but it is in fact intact piece of glass. Gotta admit, this is, this is pretty mind-blowing to me. I, uh, I was expecting this one to sail through as well. So having seen it stop once, I'm really curious if it can do it again. I've set up the uh, slow motion camera uh, at a different angle, a little bit closer, because I want to see if we can catch that bullet deflecting. 
off that glass a little bit better. So, take two, 22 short, the weakest round in the world. The only round that so far has bounced off this windshield. In the windshield, save that pop bottle one more time. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Sure enough, it did it again. It did it again. The 22 short cannot get through that windshield. So there you go. I guess uh, windshields can stop bullets as long as it's the absolute weakest bullet that was ever made. Um, interesting side note here. Found this little guy. That's the bullet that bounced off the windshield. Look how mangled that thing is. It's kind of cool how much uh, just a little bit of glass will really screw up a bullet like that. But uh, I'm going to say I'm pretty confident that the old timer was full of crap. And um, I don't think there's realistically any way that uh, any modern um, popular round is actually going to be stopped by a windshield. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. You know, I just remembered I uh, forgot one of my favorite 22 rounds. This one's called the 223. Let's see how this does against that windshield. You know, we'll give that windshield uh, a little bit of a better chance to deflect here. We're going to do this one at 50 yards. So let's see how windshield does against the old 223. <laughs> yeah, um, didn't stand a chance. You weren't thinking that I was going to leave a pop bottle standing there. <laughs>